From the sky, so streets, greens, welcome, I'm Skyfield, welcome to another vlog. Oh man, I've missed a couple days, and here's the reason why. First off, it's about stress. This whole last couple of days, stress. Stress. Here's why. First off, Rooster Teeth Expo. RTX. I have, first off, I have an anxiety to go. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but I do like Rooster Teeth. I love the stuff they do. I love Achievement Hunter. Eh, on Funhouse and Couch Shop. That. But, you know, that, I mean, like, I like Achievement Hunter. I like Rooster Teeth. Uh, like, I like their sketches. Like, Million Dollar Spot, On the Spot, and, uh, Stuff like that. I've watched some Red vs. Blue, like the first couple seasons. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I'm super. And not to mention, my, one of my favorite animes of all time is Ruby. I don't know if people consider it an anime. I do. I do. And that's what matters. But I, I think Ruby's awesome. And. So let's get down into why Rooster Teeth Expo is giving me stress. Other than, I have no idea what the fuck I'm getting into. Because, really, I haven't looked much into it. Uh, I've done that on purpose because I love... I mean, it's bittersweet. But I love being surprised in a good way. In a good way. God help you if it's a bad way. <laughs> but, I mean... It's got to be fun, right? Right? I don't know. Uh, but I, it's not only just the social anxiety. This is going to be my first time flying. I guess I'm a little nervous about that. Because not only am I flying, I'm flying... Uh, and only is my... my bleh, see how... See how nerve-wracking this crap is just thinking about it. It's just making my blood pressure go up. <laughs> About that high. Not only is it my first time flying, I'm flying alone. I've had a past fear of heights, hence why, uh, hence why I would never ride a roller coaster. Oh my god, what am I getting myself into? And yeah, I'm flying to a city where I know... Nobody. No one's meeting me there. It's just me going to this place on my own, by myself, and just to an expo I've never looked at or been to. Ah, this is getting worse and worse. I wasn't even this panicked earlier until I just started saying it. But that's been that. So that's that's nerve nerve wracking. Almost, almost. Oh. Oh, <laughs> but uh, I am going to know at least one person who's also going to be there. Two, maybe, depending on the person, if they go. They said they were going to go, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, but at, at least the one, the one person I know is going... I trust more than anyone. <laughs> oh. Well, at least at the moment. I mean, I trust more than anyone. And I'm just... That's that's a bit comforting. But before... Before, like... This, this rolls into part two. I didn't have... Like, I said I was getting this flight. I was going to leave at 3 in the afternoon here. And get over there at like 8 in the... 8, eight or 9 at night. I wouldn't have seen this person for a whole day. I wouldn't have, it, it's Sydney, by the way. Sydney. I wouldn't have seen Sydney the whole damn day. At all. And I would have been getting to a city at night that I've never been to. Holy crap. But I got a new flight. I got a flight. Like, before I was looking at that flight, I didn't really grab it. I said, kept telling everyone, yeah, this is my flight. But it wasn't my flight. 
So, care to weigh in? Sorry, my dog has been so lonely today that when I got home from work, by the way, I'm in my work clothes. When I got home from work, she just crawled up to me and laid in my shirt. Maybe it's because I'm big and warm. Who knows? But um, my new flight starts, uh, I leave out of here like 8 in the morning or 6 or 8 in the morning. And I get there at 1.30 or 1.15 in the afternoon. Give or take an hour or so maybe for delays, but it's a nonstop flight from here in Vegas to Austin, Texas. And thank God. Thank God. I don't know. I'd probably have a heart attack if there was a fucking layover. <laughs> if I had to do a layover, I'd probably panic like, no, why? Why me? Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Let's go back to, uh, yeah, well, no, I mean, that's kind of the topic that I just, so now I'm going to be there before, like an hour or so before. And my hotel doesn't let me check in until 3. Not staying in the same hotel as them. Thought I was. Checked my itinerary. Or whatever the thing is. I checked my hotel room. And it's not not the same one. It's the other one. But they're both Holiday Inn. So it's like, I thought I had the right one. Had the wrong one. Whatever. Staying there now. Got a good deal on a, uh, on a house. Holy shit. I don't live in Austin, Texas. I mean, I don't know. From what I've been told, it's a beautiful place. It's a wonderful time. People are friendly. Uh, but I'm going to be staying in my own room. This nice suite, I think it is. I think I'm staying in a suite. I'm not sure. However, uh, I, I don't know. I've... Eh. Sorry, we got to just adjust you a bit. I don't know. I feel like I'll, I'll get into that more of when the times come, when the time comes, or like, cause I'm gonna be vlogging down there, be recording little bits of what I'm doing throughout the day. I'm gonna have to bring some battery packs. Well, I mean, at least I, I'm gonna have some fun. I mean, maybe it's gonna be fun waiting in line for everything. Yay! But the last reason why I've been so stressed is I have a very I have very bad social anxiety. I do not I don't know how much I could stress this. I do not socialize at all. Not one bit. Yeah, you heard that right, Evie. Not one bit. I stay at home and I will be on Xbox. And talk to my talk to my boys on there. It's just I go I go to work, talk at work. I come home, talk on Xbox, go to sleep, talk in my sleep, wake up, <laughs> and repeat. That's all I do, and that sounds super sad. <laughs> but um, coming up this week. I'm going to have to be a little bit social. And there's a pool involved. And there's a lot of people I don't know. And I have a very low self-esteem. I have social anxiety. I think my body's a fucking disgusting train wreck with acne on my back and shoulders. Uh, stretch marks all across my torso. And disgusting hair everywhere plus I'm fat so I have rolls so like I I I hit the trifecta right, right now I'm just uh, it's not helping this is not helpful this is a very stressful time it may not mean anything to anyone it may not have any significance in history but let it be known on this day Skyfield vented about being stressed the fuck out Oh, I'm sorry, Evie. Are you scared? Don't be scared. Yeah, you see like a little little black curve right there? That's Evie. Yeah, see, I wasn't lying. She's in my shirt. 
Or maybe I'm just that fat. Who knows? Maybe I ate my dog. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm super fucking stressed. I don't socialize at all. And so I'm just, I'm like wondering if I could come up with a plan to get through the day. I mean, I don't want to say get through the day because that sounds like I feel tortured or like I don't want to do it. I, as as anxious as I am, as, as much anxiety as I feel, I still am excited and I want to do this. Especially, I want to do RTX. I want to go meet new people, talk to people and stuff like that. I want, I wish, I wish, I really do wish, I wish, I wish upon a fish that I was not ashamed of my body and that I didn't feel this much anxiety just by talking to people or being at an event with people. Like, oh, let me also speak on top of that, on top of the body the body shame and the low self-esteem and the anxi- and the social anxiety. There's going to be a pool. And I'm pretty sure I'm expected to swim in it. So I'm going to be blind and defenseless also. Which, that is not good. <laughs> that is not, that is just the fucking icing on the cake, bro. Ugh. I sound like I sound like one of those trash players on the Xbox. But no, I'm serious. It's just it it is not that like I have to take off my contacts and oh my god. That scares the hell out of me. Like not only do I have to work like in my mind I have to worry about people judging me on how I look, but I can't see them. I like I can't see them so they could be looking at me and judging me and I won't know but in my mind I'm going to be thinking everyone's judging me and this is not fun. I'm sorry Evie. I must shout. I must get louder at this point because that is not helpful. I can't even look at the camera right now cuz I'm ashamed of myself. So with that in mind guys, until the next video, sayonara.